Okay, the last video ended with Inventor crashing, and I went ahead and left that in there and didn't delete it um, because it's important to realize that if you don't save your work frequently, it gets lost, and Inventor will crash, usually when you haven't been saving your work frequently. So you may notice this Christmas tree is a little different. It has a green bottom as opposed to a brown. That's because when Inventor crashed, I discovered I hadn't saved any of my work. Um, whenever you do a major component, like basically at the end of each of these videos, you should be going up and hitting save in order to make your work um, complete. Now, what made it crash was I was using the, um, uh, whew, what was I doing? I was using the um, editing this angle dimension and I was doing a driven dimension and I was trying to record a video. And you can record a video this way. Um, the problem is, is this is not necessarily the best way to do it or get a quality video and often Inventor will crash when you do use this method, but this method will work and it's better than no video. The better way to create your video would be to follow the directions in the next tutorial on the Canvas page talking about using Inventor Studio. So how you get to Inventor Studio is you go up here to where it says environments and the environment we want to select is Inventor Studio. And then this works pretty much like a um, any video software studio. You can do a whole bunch of different things, but um, what you can do is um, animate something based on constraints. So for example, I can do a 10 second video and I'm going to go over here. I want to do it by constraint and I'm going to use my follower angle constraint and um, it has it going from that to that. The video, next video goes into it a lot more detail. I'm just doing this kind of quick. I hit OK and it doesn't like it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. The one thing I do want to emphasize is when you render this, you need to be careful not to render it with a great deal of detail or you will never, ever, ever finish. So I um, set my rendering for 15 and I only have my video running for 10 seconds and then that will allow it to create a video in a fairly reasonable amount of time. I did this on my laptop at home and it took it 12 minutes to record this video. So um, be careful because if you do this with the full maximum detail, you're rendering maybe a couple of hours, which is hard to do when you've got the next class coming behind you wanting to use your computer. Other than that, um, the next video is really the best way to walk you through on how to use the um, Inventor Studio. When you're done with the Inventor Studio, you just hit finish and then make sure you always save.